What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Power Play with CJ. We're going to focus in on the Cody, Fran Cody Franz and Saga finally coming to an end as the uh, defense from signed a two year deal with the Buffalo Sabres worth $3.3 million to uh, you know finally get him on the roster for an NHL team. I mean, going in, you know, this time last year, you know, you, you figured Franz would be one of the better free agents on the market this year. And uh, well, it's not entirely untrue. The fact, you know, how poorly he played and how poor of a fit he was. Down the stretch in Nashville, um, you know, in his return to Nashville, I should say, uh, definitely hurt his, his value. I mean, him and Santorelli both had to wait around, and you know, I guess it's one of the few good deals the Leafs made over the last year. They're able to get, you know, first round pick, a prospect, and uh, actually two guys that didn't have a job until August, but in, in Francis' case, September. Um, you know, again, good for the Leafs, and uh, back to the Sabres, though. This blue line is lacking. Let's leave it at that. And I think Franzen can come in and, uh, you know, really be a, a solid, you know, top three guy on this team. I think he can also ease some of the pressure on some of the young guys, you know, meaning maybe Rasmus line that doesn't have to play as many minutes as he did last year. I uh, kind of really ease in and become a consistent NHL player that way. Um, you know, I mean, right now, at least on paper, anyway, Georges, Franz, and Bogosian are the top three defensemen, and unfortunately, you're not going to want a whole lot with those three. A uh, really, really, really talented group of forwards. Obviously, a lot of upside and potential between you know guys like Eichel, you know, and, and Reiner, and then you know, obviously a veteran presence in Ryan O'Reilly. But at the same time, you know, the defense is, is lacking. Goaltending is going to be better. Um, Laner will, uh, I think, really. Fill in and do a good job there. Um, you know, keep them in a few games that maybe last year they wouldn't have been in. And then, you know, I think that the D will be the Achilles heel of this team. I think Dan Bilesman will get a lot out of these guys. So, you know, I mean, I'm looking at the Eastern Conference. Buffalo will be one of, if not the most improved teams in the league next year. They won't make the playoffs. Um, I just think the East is just too good for that. But, you know, they'll, um, they're will they not going to be as much of a pushover. So teams, you know, that, that got to beat up on the last year and get, you know, needs these sorts of points aren't getting those this year. And I think they're going to be a fun, exciting group to watch and better days are ahead in Buffalo. And, you know, the Bills start on Sunday, so, you know, I, go go figure. The uh, Bills named a starter quarterback for 2015 before Cody Franz and signed a, a contract. You got to love sports, right? I'll see how Tyrod Taylor does. Uh, I think Rexy made a bit of a mistake there. Anyway. That's all next episode of the Power Play with CJ. Stay tuned for episodes with the offseason and beyond. Later, guys.